Morning, folks. It is Sunday. You know what that means. First of all, do you like the new HUD? Me? No. I, I don't like this. I mean, I don't even like our guy in the corner over there. I mean, look look at him. He's a, he looks like a tool. But welcome to Rush Hour, folks. And welcome to the Boston Sprint Route from Boston. B Boston? <laughs> Boston to... Um, Providence. And we're going to do this one today, long way around. And trust me, I tell you, when we get into the um, gameplay, I'm going to have a lot to say. I really am going to have a lot to say on this route, unfortunately. Simon will be joining us fresh from his uh, holiday. And uh, hopefully, well, get ready, folks. Hello, everyone. And welcome to the Boston Sprinter Route. Or as uh, I like to entitle this video, how, my, how angry will Ian get at Dovetail Games during this next 30 minutes? And don't forget, Sheldon's here too. But Yeah, Sheldon, Sheldon is here, but... Uh, I don't think I'll be much needed for this. <laughs> oh, no, no. You, honestly. So we got maintenance work uh, on the overpass uh, between Boston Back Bay and Boston South. And we're going to have to go via Southampton Street uh, to get there. Southampton Street? Yes, yeah, Southampton Street Depot. That's um, a great big... We, we watched a um, Boston South video. I remember when uh, we saw that train, that Acelia backing out. Yeah, oh yeah, it's got to go around the It goes loop. down to Southampton Street and then around uh, around backwards. <sighs> Should we get started then? Yeah. Do <laughs> we get to see the Altaria? Uh, <laughs> no. You don't get to see the train? No. And that brings me on to my first uh, problem. Well, in fact, no, I'll, I'll go for them all uh, individually shall we say. So for those that don't know, for those that do know, uh, this is part one of three of the Rush Hour DLC. The uh, the Boston Sprint of the second part being released, I would say because they've got a live stream of it, uh, well for me it's uh, tomorrow, for you guys it'll be last Wednesday, of the Dresden route. So I would say that's coming soon. And then the third part is the one that I know I'm looking forward to. I know he's looking forward to. The Brighton Bay Line. Yes. Uh, we are travelling on a... Well, we're in the cab of a CEC-3. Let's just open that door to get uh, some air in. And... Basically, it's a freight train like on a passenger work. Yes, it is. It's got uh, an S FD40 on the rear, uh, propelling it uh, towards uh, Ruggles. On oh, a top and tail? They're, no, they're not top and tail. It basically works in the same format as our uh, 90s and 91s did. This this ah. here is essentially the DBT and the, the locos at the other end. Ah. So, yeah, for those who don't know, this route came out uh, last Thursday, the 22nd of August. No, 19th was it? Was it the 19th? Sorry, the 19th of August. I do apologize. It was the 19th. And it has been riddled with issues. So I stayed up a little later on the, the Wednesday night into the Thursday morning to get this downloaded so it'd be ready for Thursday so that when Simon came back... Well, though, no, Simon wouldn't have been able to come back and do it. But it was here ready so that we could get it recorded for today. When the thing came out, there was no rush hour to start with. So I thought, OK, that's fine. Give it, give it a few minutes. Fifteen minutes later, rush hour appeared. And we downloaded it. I then went into the game. And the game crashed. That's a good start. I think you'll agree, isn't it? Yes. That's a very good start. So I tried it a couple more times, a couple more times, and I went on the uh, the Dovetail forums. 
and everyone else was having the same uh, problem. And the problem was it was because the core update that we were all waiting for, that hadn't activated. So we just had to wait for Sony to activate it so that we could play Rush Hour. So I thought, this was probably about half midnight, one in the morning, I thought, ah, fuck it, I'm going to bed. I wake up next morning, go to the gym, come back, half nine, I thought, right, is there a, is there a thing waiting for me here? And lo and behold, yes, there was the, uh, there was the patch waiting for me. So I thought, brilliant, let's go. No. This is, this is where Simon asks, what now? What now? Well, it turns out, there goes the cellular uh, going past there. It turns out that the patch downloaded, no problem. Went to go start the game, it didn't crash, which was a good thing. Right? Then we got this god awful new intro. And if anyone has seen the new intro for Train Sim World 2, my god, it is awful! It looks like a two-year-old did it, for crying out loud. It, it, they just stuck all the locos and had them do 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 moving all around all over the place. I mean, what the fuck? And I do mean, what the fuck? Because, like... Should have this in, like, a Boston voice. Hey, taxi! No, that's not... Uh, you... Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what, what the fuck was right? What the fuck is going on? So we got there, and when I got there, I saw that not all my roots were there. Um, um, and I'm like, what, what's going on here? Where's all my roots gone? All that was there, because we've got like about 25 roots on Trains in World 2. And not all the roots were there. I think it was only about, down to about six. Yeah. Which was the Boston Sprinter, East Coast Way, the Peninsula Corridor, Sand Patch Grade, the Cologne route... Oh, we're looking for... Uh... East Coast Way. No, I did say the East Coast Way. No. And the Hopstrecker Rhine Ruhr. So, I thought to myself, right, okay, we'll, we'll deal with that problem later. Let's just get to recording a route. Go to access the Boston Sprinter. Nope. Game crashed again. And now I'm, and now I'm like, well, what the fuck is going on? And I go to the Dovetail forums, and it has kicked off. Literally, everyone was, everyone on the PlayStation 4 side. Now, what, what I should point out is, yes, we do have a PS5 console, but this is the PS4 version of the game. You, They did give us the option to do a free upgrade to the PS5 version. By the way, the Xbox was all right, was it? Um, no. I think it was. Xbox has a few issues, so does PC. But not as bad but, as... No, not to the extent that PlayStation 4 has. Good lord. Or 5. Or 5. Well, no! I'll get onto that in a second. Mm. I'll get onto that. But, if you upgraded to the PS5 version, it came at a price. And that price was, you would have to start the game all over again. That means all the scenarios we've done up to now I'd have to redo. All of the trophies I had got up to now I'd have to redo. Even going around all the routes to get all the collectibles I would have to redo. No fucking way. Not... Let, let me tell you right. Some routes I was done with the collectibles in 30 minutes. Some routes... Clinchfield Railroad... Took... Four hours. That's no, not me. Four hours to get all the collectibles, which was a joke, and I mean a joke. So I thought, no, best stay with the PS4 version for now, until they can find a way to transfer the PS4 profile over to the PS5 gameplay, so that then all I gotta do is install the PS5 version bring over the PS4 stuff and then I can wipe the PS4 off completely. That that would be it then. The only thing PS4 related we'd have on the channel is The Last of Us Part 2. 
Oh, and any of the other games that uh, we decide to play. So, like I said, it's all kicking off. <coughs> Everyone on the PlayStation 4 side has the same problem. All their roots are gone. We're pulled into Ruggles, by the way. Ruggles? Ruggles, yes. Um, it's an island platform. Uh, only the MB, MBAT trains, MBNA I think they're called, they stop here. The Acelia is so basically... basically it's basically got two platforms. It's basically got two platforms, yes. Uh, and you can see the loco uh, just Ooh. over there on the uh, on the far corner. So back to your rant. Yes, back to my rant. So it turns out PlayStation 4, I'm not the only person that this has happened to. A lot of other players have had this problem. Ooh. Yes, there is, uh, I thought, I'll get onto that in a second as well. That that is the uh, the CTC cab, right there. For you all. So we're all asking the question: what what's going on? What's uh, what's cracking off? What's going on? And no one's saying anything. Typical. Then then along comes one of the. Um, I'm not sure if they're moderators of the site or if it's an actual developer, part of the development team itself. And he comes in. Yes, we're aware there's an issue with the game. We're fixing it. Fair enough. Fair enough. You just got to wait for us to repatch the patch. So all through Friday, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Nothing. Sorry, all through Thursday, nothing. Then the, the Dovetail live stream happens. This is Thursday evening, about 7 o'clock. They kicked off on there. No, the very first Perth, there was two, uh, two guys in there. Mm. One, I think, was called uh, Sam. And there was a, another one, is, uh, the... You, you'll have seen him before, the big bloke with glasses who's got the the cat headphones. Matt. Matt, that's it. Matt. Matt Pedersen or Some, Something like that. Pedersen, yeah. Sam opens up by saying that they are aware of some issues on the PlayStation side. As soon as he says that, Matt then goes... <laughs> And start almost starts laughing. Oh god, that's not a good way. I think Sam noticed it as well, and well, the look he gave the other because they're in two separate cameras, and the look he gave, well, if they were next to each other, bang, he's dead. So right. tell, I think that he plays PC or Xbox then. Um, no, he uh, Matt plays PlayStation Five. Hmm. Um, something had gone wrong with the core update as we uh, head to Boston Back Bay. So why was he laughing then if he plays PS5? I don't know, but everyone everyone was like, this isn't a funny situation. Yeah. The, the, we've put literally hundreds of pounds in DLC into this game that we can't use. Yeah. Basically, the problem with the DLC is, the DLC is there. But it won't go onto the game... And if you go to try and put it on the game, PlayStation are trying to make you pay for it again. Yeah, which is wrong. Which is wrong. Anyway, Sam says there is a patch coming. We can't give an exact time when it's coming, but it's coming. So along comes Friday. I think the patch dropped about 7pm. And thankfully... The game started working properly. Although, the missing DLC was still missing. Yeah. We are recording this now, Tuesday afternoon at nearly midday. The 24th of April, 2021. The, the matter is still not fixed. All weekend, at first thing... Saturday there was I recorded this gameplay Saturday so I just thought get it recorded and then when the next one drops we can give you the proper version the amount of stuff that is wrong with this route is incredible 
as we uh, come to stop at Boston Back Bay, which is the next the station before Boston South. Hang on, is there snow inside the tunnel there? Uh, there is snow inside the tunnel. Because as you can see, there is a... Oh yeah. No, there, there is an opening there, look. That's an opening, so there will be snow. You wouldn't think it'd be by like that. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought so. Then again, this is America. Uh, where was I before that? Oh yeah. So, what is wrong with this now? Oh yeah, this route. This route. Well, more specifically, what is wrong with the loco? Oh yeah, there is a known issue that is wrong with the route that they already know about. The stanchion doesn't match the real life stanchion. They know about that. They're working on that already to get that sorted. So that, that is one thing we will give credit for. We are using immersion controls here like you do with all the new DLC. If you go to go to the exterior cameras on immersion, it switches back to classic. In other words, it switches halfway through when it shouldn't do. Right. So that is why you're not seeing any exterior shots of this train right now. Because if I go to do that, I'm going to go back to classic, which means the horrible, gaudy, would you like to open left doors or right doors comes up instead of just a click of a button. I know it's that circle thing. Yes, that circle thing. And then other circle things that appear at will. The whole debacle that has happened since Thursday has been an absolute shit show. The lack of information from Dovetail is absolutely astounding. And one thing I will say here. Come Sunday, I got to the point where, right, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of this myself. So I uninstalled the PS4 version, reinstalled the PS4 version, it then reinstalled all the DLC and I thought, I said on the forum, say, look guys, we've got a bit of hope here, let me try this. That's when I was contacted by one of the Dovetail, well, he's one of the mods but he's the middle guy. So he's the guy that sort of communicates between the players and the developers. Yeah. And he was like, look, let us know how you get on. So I turned around. This was about three o'clock in the uh, the afternoon. I said, it's not worked. We're still back to square one with only six routes. Which routes have you got? So I told the routes we got. We got um, Rhyme Rua, Cologne, East Coast Way, Penn Corridor, um, Boston oh, Sprinter. Yeah, Boston Sprinter and the Sand Patch Great. That's yeah. it. Okay then, could you try this and let me know what happens? So now I'm working sort of independently working with Dovetail to try and help them out with their situation. Everything that was cap they were saying wouldn't work. But honestly, the lack of information we've had from Dovetail is, is, is astounding. The only apology we've ever got... Was on that live stream. No, 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 no. That was. He didn't even say sorry. He just said, "Yeah, we're aware. We'll get it fixed. Leave it with us." Sam came on the forums then, and he issued an apology. But this was Saturday night, at least forty-eight hours after it happened. And no disrespect is meant to Sam here, but it should have come out like that. Earlier. It should have come out a lot earlier, not 48 hours. Anything that any of the other mods were doing, they were just giving the same old, same old. And it was like, we're sorry, we're getting it fixed, you've got to bear with us. And you've got people absolutely... It's got to the point on the forums, where it's got to the point where... People are starting to say the S word. H-I-T. No. Sue. They want to start bringing lawyers into this. I think that's a bit extreme. That, that, is, that is extreme, yes. That is very much extreme. But, on, <sighs> honestly, this whole debacle has been one joke. I mean, I'm, I'm just about to pop onto the... Um, 
the forums now, see if there is any update. Yeah, do that to see what's happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to pop on there, see if there's any update. Uh, there hasn't been an update since um, yesterday evening, so mon Monday, yeah. Yeah. Monday evening uh, since they put the post up explaining where they are right now. Which uh, I will read you that um, right now. <clears throat> so I've got to bring my laptop uh, sort of over here. Yeah, keep going. Uh... There you are. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. If yeah. I can. Uh... Why don't we just stop here and? Yes. Oh, don't don't go start on this. It said stop here. Yeah. And here I am, and nothing's happening. Here I am and nothing's happening. Did you just say, F it, let's go to the station? <laughs> I, I probably did it uh, at this point. So, the statement that came out, this was on the 23rd of August. Hello, folks. We thank you for your patience over the weekend. We wanted to update you as where we are, the current outstanding issues we're seeing crop up in the community related to players unable to play the game. Before we want jump in, though, we want to talk about where we are. On Thursday, we released Trains in World 2 Rush Hour, a new route, the Rush Hour season ticket, a major core update, and an extensive remastering of all add-ons to take advantage of the ending upgrade. In some instances on Xbox, and specifically PlayStation 4, this release hasn't gone as we expected. So Xbox are having issues themselves. So this isn't just a, a PlayStation 4 issue, it's uh, an Xbox thing as well. Uh, we understand and share your frustrations. We take this situation extremely seriously says the company that issued practically no updates in about five days. And no, it's not acceptable for an update to cause this scale of problem, no matter how complex the rollout was. Working on live uh, titles is complex, and even with testing... Which they never tested the thing in the first place... You can never fully replicate the live environment of Trains in World 2. A team has been working round the clock since launch and through the weekend has tested po multiple possible fixes with success in some areas such as the Xbox. So the Xbox side has now been sorted, but not yet for PlayStation. Add-on visibility, although we've made some progress. Add-ons visibility, although we've made some progress. Yeah, what progress has been made? No one's got anything. We want to first thank every player who's worked directly to help with us. Uh, we're not there yet. I'm working alongside Sony. Oh, and let's go there. They then tried to blame this on Sony. Saying, oh, this is Sony's fault. Sorry. Dovetail made the game. Dovetail made the update. PlayStation don't just distribute said information. So how is that the fault of Sony? Sony. All Sony do is say, you give us the copies. Yep. We'll take their money. Then the money's, I assume, given somewhere else. And we're all good and golden. So this is not a Sony problem. This is a this is a Trains in World 2 problem, folks. Um so yeah, we work alongside Sony. Our development teams in our teams in development, retail, community, and QA will not stop until add-on visibility is issued and resolved, and all add-ons are restored correctly, so you can play as we intended. We want you to be playing the update, all your add-ons, with the new Boston route, and the community team will keep you as informed as possible. Says the company that's issued probably about two updates in about five days. Uh, for any further updates, we're sorry this didn't go as any of us wanted and we're on it until it's all resolved. Here is how it stands at the moment. Um, so as far as our problem is concerned, oh by the way, uh, we've got to go round the loop uh, here and I think because we've got to go at five miles an hour, uh, I might just speed this up so we can get to Boston a little bit quicker. Um, we're still working on resolving this issue with Sony, who we've worked with throughout the setup of the packages, and many of the teams have been working throughout the weekend trying to source the root of the issue. We've made some progress in identifying this, but we're not there yet. This is apparently their number one priority to sort out. Yet it's taken five days 
so far for them to sort it. And counting. And counting, exactly. Uh, we're rolling backwards here. Oh, that, oh, I know why we're rolling backwards, because we think we're going to go that way, but no, we're going to go around the loop. So, uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get it fast-forwarded, because uh, five miles an hour, there we go, we've got to go forward. Five miles an hour around this loop, God almighty, it takes forever. Um, it took longer than it should do. Yes, again. Hey, it's going to take 25 minutes. No. Uh, we appreciate how frustrated it is. Apologise for the inconvenience this is causing. So you can see we're starting to uh, speed it up now. Whilst our Sony and technical teams continue to work on this, if there's any workarounds we find to restore access in a limited fashion, we'll let you know in a separate article. We want to extend a big thank you to everyone who has been forthcoming and offering help and support. So that would be me because I tried to uh, offer them as much help as uh, I could there. Uh, as well as those players who continue to help diagnose and solve issues. Xbox, they published an update around about 3 o'clock uh, Monday to fix the issue. And as far as I know, they're sorted. As far as Steam is concerned, so this is a PC, they moved to a brand new engine on PC. And basically, all of the modding that they do on PC, they weren't able to do. So they fixed that to, so that uh, people can mod things. But, uh, yeah, literally, it's been a, a crap show. Oh, is that why Steve stocked me out when I try to trade to me to all? That probably is, yes. Oh. It's because uh, you've had a, a new engine. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it's... it. We're just waiting. We are literally waiting for this to get fixed. Now, the good news is... We are still going to be bringing you Trains in World 2 on Sundays. We've recorded a lot of content before this happened. Excuse me. So, we'll be able to Here's the end of the speedy. get this uh, sorted. Yes, this is the end, because we're now on the uh, now on the approaches to um, into Boston South Station. Normal service has resumed. Normal service has been resumed, yes. Except for Trains in World 2. Except for Trains in World 2, of course. So, yeah, we've... All the content you'll see up to um, the Hopstracker Right Munich Augsburg, we recorded a lot earlier in the year. And there's a lot of content after that that we've also recorded. So we've got plenty of content to keep us going on Sundays. It's just while we're waiting for this to be fixed. As I'm sure you'll all understand, it's absolutely frustrating. It is absolutely frustrating. Because normally I would have done two routes. Done this route and then done the next route ready so I can get that processed ready for upload. I didn't even want to do the second route. Until they fix Boston Sprinter, there is no point in me doing I'd say, until they fix Trains in World 2, there is just no point in doing anything. So literally, when all the PlayStation 4 people are sitting around twiddling their thumbs, waiting. Now somebody's going to say, but Ian, you've got a PS5! <laughs> and, and yeah, the PlayStation 5 side works absolutely perfectly, apart from one issue where they're missing the Great Western Express. To be honest, we don't really care about the Great Western Express because all we've used in that for is the Diesel Legends of the Great Western. But the problem is, by going over to the PlayStation 5 side and we come into Boston South Station now, like I said, if you go to the PlayStation 5 side, you've got to start all over again. Am I willing to start all over again after putting in hours and hours on the PlayStation 4 side? Absolutely not. No. I, I just... Like you said, Clinchfield took you four hours. Clinchfield, just the collectibles, took four hours. Just the collectibles. And some of these scenarios? Some of the scenarios were... Two hours long? Two hours long and... Oh, no. Just no. Not, not even I would uh, put myself through that. So, yeah, that's where... Uh, that's where we are with this. In terms of the route itself, it's cracking. It looks absolutely fantastic. But it's been let down by 
I, I don't even know who I want to say let it down. Was it a Sony problem? Was it a dovetail problem? Who knows? But it's all a fucking shit show. It's an absolute utter shit show at the moment. Anyway, we've been going 30 minutes. Have I been really ranting for 30 minutes? Yeah. You you were hardly here. I was in the background. I mean, you were hardly here. You should have stopped me. No, you <laughs> wanted to chat it all. I, I need, no, I did need to get all that off, um, off my chest. Because... Honestly, it's um, it's just been a absolute heap. I know. Um, yeah, somebody said it's Monday. They haven't explained more. It's Tuesday. They haven't explained more exactly. The laughing emoji. Yeah. Um, tonight's uh, <laughs> live stream is gonna be very, very uh, interesting to watch. I may even just watch that just for the shits and giggles. What time is it start? Seven o'clock, British Standard Time. Can we watch it? I think we should watch it. Ah, here we go. That's the problem. Because we've tried to go exterior, now it's kicked us out of immersion uh, area and it's gone to classic. Yeah. In fact, look at it. We're coming up to the end the uh, end of the route here. We haven't even done a trade with Sheldon. I don't think we needed one. <sighs> We will we will do one in the next Boston Sprinter. In fact, no, here's what I will do to apologise to Simon for putting up with 30 minutes of this debacle. He can actually choose the next route we do. He can the choose... Next scenario. Yes, he can choose the next scenario. So uh, my punishment is to basically choose... Uh, yes, let's walk out and see the... Amtrak. Uh, well, he wants Amtrak. <laughs> No, you see Amtrak with these, do you? Yes, the, that is uh, who the seller is, it's the, the Amtraks. So that's our uh, train there. Uh, no trophy, there's only one trophy for a scenario, and that's uh, with a 90 minute uh, scenario. We well, get one trophy out of this. Only one trophy as far as... You no, know, there's some way you can get um, trophies for doing other things, but only one scenario will give you a trophy. And it's, it's a 90 a... minute, five star hard scenario. That's a bit bad. It is. Some give you two, some give you three. Anyway, 25 likes on the video, guys. Apologies for the ranting. Yeah, I needed to get off my chest. Um, tomorrow, I haven't a clue what we're playing tomorrow. I think it's The Last of Us part. No, it's Wreckfest tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, join us for that. He can have the last word, though. See you soon. All right, see you soon.